In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the gantry framework. Now you have here, this is the front end of what it looks like. And in the front end, you notice that you have the features. These are the different st stuff that comes with it. Uh, the documentation to download the particles. You have the pages. You have the modular blog error and offline. You have the layouts. The layouts are just different ways you can lay out the page. And we'll take a look at that in just a moment. And then you have the styles. You have six different styles of presets that you can use in order to design or style your website. So when you scroll down here, you notice that it's very simple and very basic. Not too much going on. And the reason for this is when frameworks are built, they're designed to give you a solid starting point. It is up to you to make the necessary changes. Now, in this lesson, I want to give you a foundational look at this framework. Uh, because it is one of the more complex ones uh, that it can take some time, especially for beginners, to really grasp fully. Uh, when I first started working on it, you know, it took me some time to understand how it worked uh, because there's just so many, many different things that are going on. But once you spend some time with it, then you pretty much understand the flow. So that is the purpose of this lesson to give you a foundational look. So there are two ways you can get to it. The quickest way you go to components and you click on gantry themes five themes or you can go to extensions you go to templates now when you get the templates you notice that you have several options here you have looks like whoa what in the world is going on it has a lot uh, that is because when you go to the front end and you look at the layouts it's showing you different layout let's click on this full width for example now with the full width you can see that it has the fluidity is full you go to the next one left sidebar you have this module here on the left side you go to the right sidebar and so on and so forth so you can go to the two sidebars so you can go to the rows and columns and they're showing you this to let you know that these are the different ways that you can be able to customize each page of your website so you have the sidebar you have the head in so now let's go over to the back end and one thing you want to note here is you have this column that says default the one that is highlighted this is going to be the default one so when you go here you notice the helium you have the home full width two sidebar and all these that are listed here and then you have the default which is the one that's assigned to the template which is this front page right here this is the default let's go back here uh this one here is the default so you can see right now default for all pages so let's go over to the menus here so you can see what's assigned. So you go over to Helium theme and you look at the home, for example. It's shown that it's a custom theme. Now, if, you know, as you're going to learn later on the course, how module positions and menu types. But let me click here how those things work. When I click on this, you see Gantry five themes. You can choose from here and you can connect that theme the particular theme as you can see from this the layouts here you can connect one of these to a page let's take a look at this so you understand a little bit more so again the quickest way to get to it is go to components and you go to gantry themes five themes now when you come here if you're just getting started with this it looks like whoa there's a whole lot of stuff going on too much right but let's just break this down here to give you a clear understanding of how this whole thing looks and why it's set up like this at the very top right here first you look at this right now it's showing you the version anytime that there's a new version that's released you're going to have the opportunity to update it and then for here you have the outlines the outlines are like the presets so let's click on this these are the different variations or types that you can customize which uh, relates to the, the the layout so these layouts here that you see you can add more or you can customize what you already have so this is the full width the left sidebar so when you look on the back end, you're able to see the life sidebar, the particles, and these are just different blocks or different ways that you want to lay out your page. If you wanted to have a certain design, you can do that. You can duplicate or you can even delete. Now, this comes in handy when you're building a page and you want to have a different layout. Let's say, for example, you're building a page and you want to have a page to have a, you know, a right sidebar. Well, this one here uses the right sidebar, so you would come on the back end 
and you would find this right sidebar if you wanted to edit it you can click on edit and from here this is where you can change a lot of the dynamics so you see this background color the color here this is what you see the accent colors let's go back to the front end so you see this you know the the merge or the blend of this variant colors right here this is what where you can change the accent colors and then you go to the navigation this is where the navigation of colors are located in the header uh, you go down you can put the background this is the background image here for the header so this image that you see here image 01 or you can choose 02 this is the background image that you currently see there and you can always add your own on the one of these folders you can change that to whatever you want it to be so let's cancel this and you scroll down here and also you can also enable by clicking here and this is the background is it enabled so if you were to come here and you disable this that background here is not going to show anymore and then this is the text colors for that particular section you can be able to click on and change whatever colors that you want for this section here now that's one of the beauties about framework is that it allows you to customize pretty much every aspect of your website so you go to intro styles and utility now I know some of this here may seem complicated but again once once you understand the core part of it then you really understand how things work so you have the menu you have the drop down you have 180 pixels uh, that is the drop down so that right now from the top here to the bottom is 180 pixels so let's go over to the fade this or the different fade you can have a zoom fade up and what that mean is when someone put their mouse over here what effect do you want do you want it do you want that to slide in do you want that to fade in or do you want it just to pop up so this is where you change the menu uh, drop down and let's go over now to the menu and one thing to note here if you're editing a page and you want to go somewhere else you're going to see this message so you have an option to save before leaving discard changes or remain on this page so i'm just going to discard the changes you can either save them too and then you have the features you have the pages you have the layout so what this means is it's just showing you these are the main items that you have on here so the home feature pages layouts and style that's what you see right here and you can choose how this link so if you wanted this to link let's say this is the features part if you wanted this to link to an external you can make that change here or you can also do that on the Joomla menu uh, back end which we took a look at a few minutes ago so you have to drop and expand right this is for the features. so let's go over to the features so you see this has a drop down feature with it the drop down is auto meaning that based on the number of items you have is going to automatically do that you can also add an icon you can add an image or you can have an icon only you can add subtitles and this ID is automatically generated you can so this one here is for the features so I'm going to cancel and the same thing here for any of this other menus this gives you flexibility for you to you know style this menu section here how you want it to be so once you're done you have the extras here which um, now with the clear cache sometimes you are working on something and you want to clear it so the cache is just information that's stored so that people can be able to load the page faster uh, so sometimes you may want to come in and clear your cache let's say you're working on uh, some, something and you're not seeing the changes showing up on the front end that mean can mean sometimes that you need to clear your cache because it's pulling old information and it's not reflecting the new changes that you made and then you have the platform settings which just takes you back to the Joomla uh, system here so let's go back here over to the gantry five things okay now we're over now in this section here we're gonna take a look at this drop down once again the drop down you see here this is the layout variations that you can choose from you can customize each page individually the base outline this is the core base so let's go over to the to the base outline now what the base outline mean is this is the color that is going to be found throughout the template so if you go back on the front end let's go back to the home page 
some of the things that you note here with the front uh with the with the base style is that you have the base text color this is the color that is going to be used universally you can change this per template if you want or you can leave it and you have this color here too for the accent colors you can change that uh, the accent colors once again is this whole thing you see right here um, you can change that to be whatever combination so if you have a specific branding type that you want to go over you can do that and then you have the section styles the navigation style. once again this is just going over each section has its own color and its own text color that you can be able to change uh, just by clicking on there and you have the testimonials so the testimonials let's go to the bottom is this section right here so when you click on this this is the image that you're seeing that is right here you can change that image to something else or you can upload your own image so let's just cancel this and the footer this is the footer section if you want to change the colors the font the text and whatnot this is where you can change that and this the off canvas the off canvas is for the web so when someone's viewing it from the web they can be able to see that off canvas menu this is where you change that and let's go over now to the layout the layout is pretty interesting. It gives you the flexibility to be able to add a variety of different things. You have module instances, module positions, and a whole bunch of other things here that you can be able to add. Now, particles are just different blocks that you can add to your page. So for example, system message, any message that comes through from the system, Joomla core system, or the website system, it is going to show at the very, very top of this page. So any type of error messages or notification that's going to show there. And then you have the logo here. You have the menu and you have the social, which you can see. You have the logo, you have the menu, and you have the social. Now, what you have on here, you can also change how much space each section takes. So, for example, if you wanted to change the space for this, you can change uh, the space for it. So by just putting your mouse here, if, if I drag left or right, I am increasing or decreasing the amount of space that this takes and you can move it up or you can move it down that's pretty much up to you.